magandang araw muli mga grade 9. So tapusin na natin ang inyong week 1, ano? Para ngayon sa ngayong first quarter. So dito na tayo. Uh, gagamit na tayo ng quadratic formula. May sasagutan ulit tayong tatlong problems, ano? Okay, sumula natin. So naisulat na yan ni Sir sa sagutang papel para hindi na tayo mahirapan. Okay na ito na. Sana iwag na uling mawala ang camera. Mhm. Mm Quadratic formula, meron tayong formula. So, na ito, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. Times yun, ha? All over. Ito yung kalimitang nalilimutan, ano? 2 times the value of a. Okay. Paano ang paggamit ng formula? Ang, for, ang quadratic formula ay ginagamit, dapat ang ating quadratic equation ay nakalagay sa standard form, ano? So, hindi ka pwedeng magkuha ng values ng A, B, and C pag hindi nakalagay sa standard form. So, sa sitwasyon natin, sa number 1, hindi pa siya nakalagay sa standard form kasi hindi siya naka-equate sa 0. Ano? So, ilagay muna natin. So, x squared plus 5x, ililipat ko sa kabila, change ng sign. So, minus 14 is equal to 0. So, ngayon, nakalagay na siya sa standard form. Okay. Pagkatapos niyan, isa ka mo ilagay ang values ng A, B, and C. Bakit ilalagay? Para hindi malito paggamit nitong formula na ito. Value of A. So, may imaginary 1. Value ng B. Meron tayong 5. And value ng C, yung negative 14. So, malaki ang value ng C. Negative 14. Saka mo gagamitin ang formula. Isulat yung formula. X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2 times A. Okay. And then X is equal to negative. Ano yung value ng B? 5. Isusulat mo yung 5. Huwag kakalimutan yung negative ha, kasi kasama sa formula. Plus or minus the square root of B. A value ng B, 5. Anong gagawin sa 5? Naka-squared. Okay? Minus 4 times the value of A. Ano yung A? Na ito yung A is 1. Kaya nga times, nilagyan natin ng parenthesis. Ano? Times the value of C. Ano yung C? Negative 14. All over... 2 times the value of A, which is 1. Okay. Ito, kwentahan na tayo. Pagkasap, pagkatapos mag-substitute, kwentahin na natin. Oh. Negative 5, okay, walang mag mababago. Copy lang. Plus or minus the square root of 5 squared is 25. Tama ba? And then, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Times negative 14. So, times negative 14. So, positive ang kalalabasan nito. Kaya, lagyan natin ng plus. So, we have 16, 4, 5. Okay. 50, 6. All over. 2 times a, uh, two times 1 is 2. Okay. Medyo na unti na. Ano? So, x is equal to negative 5. Copy uli. Plus or minus the square root of Yan, i-plus natin ito ngayon. 56, uh, 25 plus 56, so we have 11, and then, uh, 5, 3 plus 5 is 81, tama ba? Okay, 81. All over, 2. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo na kagad, yung makukuha natin dito ay isang perfect squared number, ano? So, pwede para mailabas agad natin. Okay, dito ang solution. So, nakuha na natin ito. Erase na natin ito para lumaki-laki ang ating sulatang papel. Okay. So, copy ulit. X is equal to negative 5 plus or minus. Kuha ng square root ng 81 which is 9. All over 2. Okay. Paano, sir, paano ihiwalay ito? Nakaganito. So, tingnan ang gagawin, sir x is equal to negative 5, unahin yung plus 9, all over 2. Okay? 
And then, the other one, x is equal to negative 5. Yung negative 9 naman, all over, nawawala na natin sa camera, all over 2. Okay, and then simplify na natin. So, x is equal to negative 5 plus 9 is 4, divided by 2. So, x is equal to 2. So, yun, root number 1 natin. Ano? Then, dito, x is equal to negative 5 minus 9, negative 14 so divided by 2 x is equal to negative 7 so ito yung value yung second roots natin negative 7 ok Basta, problema ito kaya isod ng camera no? minsan na hindi na hagip na papasarap si sir ok so balik balikan nyo na lang number 2 Okay, gamitin na na agad natin ang formula. Nakalagay na siya sa standard form. Kuhain natin ang values ng A, B, and C. A, B, and C. A is 2. B is 8. And C is negative 10. Okay, and then the formula. X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times c. Okay. Sir, kailangan bang i-memorize yung quadratic formula? So, huwag nyong i-memorize. Isa puso ninyo. Ano? Kung kayo talagang mahilig sa mat, isa puso nyo. Hindi kayo dyan masasaktan kasi hindi kayo iwan. Okay. So, x is equal to negative value ng b, 8, plus or minus the square root of the value of b, 8 squared, minus 4, times the value of a, 9 yung a natin, 2, times the value of c, 9 yung c, negative 10. Okay? Next, and, yun, malilimutan, yung nalilimutan sinasabi sa, 2 times the value of a, which is 2. Okay, so x is equal to, walang mababago, negative 8, plus or minus the square root of 64. Tama, 8 squared. O, dito naman ay negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, times negative 10 is positive 80. Okay, plus 80. Kasi negative times negative, ay di positive, ano? All over, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, simplify na ulit natin. Copy, plus or minus. 64 plus 80. 64 plus 84. 14. 144. 144. Okay, 144 is a perfect squared number. Divide it by 4. Punta na ulit tayo dito. So, x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus um, the square root of 144 is 12. Okay? All over. So, huwag kalimutan yung all over 4 natin. Kasama yan. So, ihiwalay na natin. x is equal to negative 8 plus muna plus 12 over 4. Then, the other one, negative 8. Minus 12. Ah, tika. Nawala yung x ko. X is equal to negative 8 minus 12 all over 4. Okay. Solve na natin itong isa. X is equal to negative 8 plus 12 is positive 4 divided by 4. So, x sub 1 is 4 divided by 4 is 1. Okay. So, dito x is equal to negative 8 minus 12 is negative 20. Diba? Divided by 4. So, x sub 2 natin. Negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. Okay. So, nakakaraos. Mm -hmm. Number 3 na tayo. So, sana yung camera natin ay hindi malikot. Okay. So, dito, um, sa number 3, makikita natin na nakahiwalay na 
nakahiwalay, dapat ay ilalagay natin sa standard form. So, ilagay natin sa standard form. 2x squared plus 3x. Ililipat sa kabila. Change na sign. 27 is equal to 0. And then, find the value of A, B, and C. A is 2. B is 3. Negative 27. Ang ating C. Okay. Yung ating uh, formula. X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2 times A. Okay. So, X is equal to negative value ng B. 3 plus or minus the square root of B which is 3, quantity squared. So, na ito yun. Minus 4 times the value of A, which is 2. Then C, negative 27. All over 2 times the value of A, which is 2. Mm -hmm. Parang kailangan na nantasa ng aking lapis. Um, medyo nakapal na ang sulat. Punggol. Nasama na rin ang sulat ni sir. <laughs> Okay, so my x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared is 9. O negative times negative, so positive na ito. So, 4 times 2 is 8 times 27. So, scratch natin. So, 27 at saka 8. So, positive na yun ha, kinuha ko na. Tsaka 8, so 56. 8 times 2 is, uh, ilan yun? 16. Plus 5, 200, uh, yes, 21. 216, tama ba? Nalito na ito. Ah, 2, 2 pala yun. 2, ah, tama, 16 plus 5, 21. Okay. 216. All over, 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So, x is equal to nasa camera pa ba tayo? Mm, copy. Negative 3 plus or minus the square root of dagdagan ko ng 9. So, dagdagan ko ng 9. 5. 2. 2. Okay. 2. 2. 5. 225 divided by 4. Okay? So, ito na ulit. X is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 225 so kung gagamit kayo ng calculator yan ay 15 ano? square root of 225 is 15 all over 4 so ihiwalay natin x is equal to negative 3 plus 15 all over 4 then the other one x is equal to Negative 3 minus 15 all over 4. So, x here is equal to negative 3 plus 15 is positive 12 divided by 4. So, x sub 1 natin ay 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, x here is equal to negative 3 minus 15 is negative 18. Tama ba? Yes, 18. And then, divided by 4. So, x sub 2 natin is equal to So, hindi siya uh, may remainder, ano? So, dito sa math uh, Pag hindi siya sakto na madidivide huwag mo nang isagot ng decimal, ano? So, mas madali ay uh, i-lowest term na lang as a fraction So, negative divided by positive is a negative So, siya ay divisible by 2 parehas so, divide ng 2, ito ay magiging 9. Ito, by 2, ito ay magiging 2. Kaya yun ay negative 9 over 2. Okay? So, that is the final answer. Okay. So, natapos na natin ang ating pang week 1. Ano? So, patuloy lang kayong mag-subscribe sa aking channel. So, so palo na yung, yung susunod nyo kasing uh, module ay magkasama ang week 2 and week 3 
ano pero mas marami tayong isosolve okay maraming maraming salamat mga grade 9 thank you